Hey, it's True at Guns America, and today I'm going to show you the brand new uh, optics, the red dots from Sig Sauer Electro Optics that dropped today. So they are called the Romeo X, and there's two models, and I'm going to tell you about them. So I actually had the opportunity to go to the Sig Sauer factory here in the United States and see how these are made, spend some time on the range with them, see them kind of their drop testing and the other things that are happening. And um, I also have got these two that are mounted on my own guns that I've been shooting and testing as well. And so I'm gonna run you through some of the product features that these two optics have. So the first one today that we're gonna talk about is the compact version. It's the Romeo XC, which stands for compact, as you can imagine, and it fits the Shield RMSC footprint, which fits all of your 365s, all of your small carry guns, like the Springfield Hellcat, um, those sort of style concealed carry guns. The RM, or sorry, the Romeo X Pro, which is what this one is, is a slightly bigger footprint, and it fits the Leupold Delta Point Pro footprint, which is one of the more common footprints for full-size handguns. Uh, and so that's the two models that are coming out. All right, so let's talk about the things that both of these optics have in common first. First things first, they mount really, really low in the slide. So they sit down really low in the slide. Your regular standard sights, co-witness at the bottom of the window, uh, no suppressor height sights needed uh, to co-witness your sights. So you can still shoot your iron sights, your stock iron sights through this window. Um, the optic does not have to be removed in order to change the battery. So there is a wind, or there's a little battery compartment right here on the side. It's very unobtrusive. It doesn't stick out much at all. You can open this up with another battery, a coin, a key, and you can replace your batteries. Now, speaking of battery life, let's just get that out of the way right off the bat. These do 20,000 hours of continuous use. Now that being said, that's a really long time. It's gonna last you way more than a year. My standard practice is every day, every year on January 1st, I change my safe batteries and I change my red dot batteries just so that I know it was done on the same day every year. And so that's a good idea. But these are gonna last longer than that if you need them to. The other thing that these have is something that SIG calls MOTAC. And MOTAC is a motion activated on off switch. So you can have this on and you get home for the day and you stick it on the nightstand. And as soon as these optics sit still for two minutes, they shut off completely and they stop using your battery. If you hear a bump in the night and you reach over and you grab this, it instantly turns back on. It turns on so fast, you don't even ever know that it was off. Obviously, if you're carrying it around all day, it's just gonna stay on. But it does have that motion activated feature. SIG calls it MOTAC. So that's the battery situation. Let's talk about the lens in these for just a second. So the lenses in these are glass. They are not polymer or plastic. Uh, SIG calls it a, a, an, an a spherical uh, lens and it's completely flat and it is zero distortion. It's very clear. You get no fisheye effect. You get no magnification effect. Uh, it's a very flat, clear lens. Uh, the high point LED emitter that projects onto it. It's an aluminum housing, it's very strong. As you can see, it's shaded, it's covered. It's uh, really tough. It's made to stand up to drops and bumps and to be carried. Uh, it's got backup iron sights. So on the compact version, the Romeo XC, it's got actual fiber optics in there so that uh, they'll light up in good daylight and you can see them. Obviously, if you've got a weapon light on, it's dark, you're gonna see them or they'll, you'll see the outline of them perfectly. On the Romeo X Pro version, which is the full size, it's actually a steel sight back here. And on these SIG guns that have backup sights already on them, they're out of the way, they're unobtrusive. You can't actually tell the, that they're on there, but if your gun didn't happen to have a rear sight, then you're set up with a backup rear sight, which is really cool. The controls on these, uh, both of them are the same here in that they have an up and a down button and they're recessed. There's a shroud that protects them from getting hit by your body in a holster. Uh, so you set it and you can kind of just forget the setting. You don't have to worry about it getting turned on or off. Now, speaking of turning it on or off, 
I have used some red dots before that are difficult to do that, and this is not one of them. So if you're going to be gone for a long time, or you're, you know you're just throwing it in a suitcase and it's going on an airplane and it's going to be bouncing around using your battery, you can turn this off. You simply push the up arrow for one second, and it turns the optic completely off. Same thing to turn it on, hold it down for one second, it turns it on. Now, these have a 2 MOA red dot reticle in them and they're red it's a red dot and they're 2 moa which is quite small it's what i personally prefer on a handgun um, and they'll go very very bright so enough to like burn your eyes in bright daylight but here's the trick if you like a bigger dot these also have the option of a circle dot in them and the way that works is you hold down the down button and it will switch on the circle dot reticle. So it gives you a dot in the center, as well as a 32 MOA dot. It's not huge, but it's pretty big. So if you want something that you can just hold over something, this has a dot, and you have the option of turning the circle on around it. Now, if you don't like either of those options, there's apparently gonna be a model available that has just a straight 6 MOA dot in it, which uh, would not personally be my choice, but that's for those of you out there that like 6 MOA dots. So guys, these are actually designed, engineered, assembled is how SIG says it in the United States, in Oregon. The reason they don't say manufactured is because you get in trouble when you say that because if every single source did not come from the United States then you can't say that. But these are 100% being made in Oregon. I've been there, seen it done. Um, but there's a chance that like a part of the laser got made in another country. There's a chance that a circuit board or wires got made somewhere else and were not necessarily made there. But as far as the machining, the assembling, the inspections, all that's being done in Oregon, I've been there and seen it. This is a high quality, um, good option uh, here from SIG. So I'm actually pretty excited because, and I actually don't care if SIG hears this, but your options for the shield or sorry, not for the shield, but the shield footprint, uh, meaning the 365 have kind of sucked. Uh, I am not a huge fan of the Romeo Zero. I've got a couple of them and it works okay on a 22, but I think this is gonna be a much more substantial, much better professional quality daily carry optic. And I'm honestly excited. This is gonna be my new daily carry uh, going forward. So I'm excited that SIG has finally kind of stepped it up and created a better quality red dot. Romeo. X adjustment system, your left, right, up, down, windage, elevation, whatever you want to call it, it has a new patented system in it from Sig Sauer. It is stronger, better, uh, hold, holds better, holds longer uh, than the old systems that have been out there. And um, that's why they patented it. They kind of took some ideas from rifle scopes that are now really, really good at tracking. And what it is is a beryllium copper flexure arm, and it's that's what the adjustment system is based off of. So it's patented. They don't really want us showing you too much of how it works, but we can show you what the actual arm looks like. So uh, pretty interesting, but this is a new design. It's also what is in the M17, uh, Romeo M17, that the military is uh, starting to adopt. So pretty interesting stuff. So guys, the only thing we have not talked about yet is the price. So the MSRP on the Romeo X Compact is $399. The Romeo X Pro is 449, so basically 400 and 450. That is MSRP. You know, you can squeeze your dealer, go talk to them a little about that. You street price may be less than that. So that's currently what we're being told by SIG though is the pricing. So you can always go to Guns America for more information or you can go to SIG Sauer's website uh, and check that out. Check that out there. Check out the full set of specs. But that's the basic rundown on the new brand new launching today sig romeo x series of red dot so kudos to sig for coming out with something that's uh, substantially better than what they've had before and uh, so far i'm impressed i love the lens super clear the last thing i forgot dang it here it is uh, this has 15 brightness settings so i should have told you this before 15 brightness settings there's 12 standard daylight ones three night vision this has a special coating that works really well with gen 3 plus night vision optics so if you had a gen 3 plus pbs 14 or a set of binos this actually is set up very well for that it has three real night vision settings on this optic so i can't believe i forgot to tell you about that um, so pretty cool there once again, guys, we appreciate you watching. Make sure that you like, subscribe, comment uh, to the channel, uh, and we will see you next time here at Guns America.